Hey, Simon, <laughs> welcome to St. Louis, and uh, just tell us how you're feeling about getting drafted by the Blues here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very honored, uh, and uh, and uh, I'm, I like I'm pretty shocked. Maybe like uh, I'm I'm just very happy. Uh, yeah. Simon, where are you now? And and if you're in Sweden, what time is it over there? Uh, actually, I'm in uh, Plymouth right now. Uh, we're going to play like a showcase here uh, with the the under twenty team here. You're did you say Plymouth, Michigan? Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, you were really highly rated. Uh, I, I I think uh, a lot of people thought you might go in the first round. Are you surprised that uh, you, you you it lasted this long before you got drafted? Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't think I was going to go in the first round. I've heard that, that I was going to go in the second. So, uh, like, uh, yeah, not uh, not so shocked. But um, yeah, I have had much uh, like um, uh, meetings and things like that. So um, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm very happy to to the Blues to select me. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Did you feel like that the Blues were one of the teams that were interested in you? Or like, I said earlier that you may be a little shocked. So does that mean that you didn't know whether St. Louis would be interested or not? Uh, no, I, I had a good meeting with them and uh, had a good meetings with the, the Swedish scout there. And so, um, uh, not the team that I've talked talk, talk to the most, but uh, yeah, um, one of the team that uh, I'm uh, have uh, had like good meetings with, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. Can you, uh, uh, for those not familiar with your game, can you describe your style of game? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a Two way forward, uh, like to shoot the puck, uh, and uh, yeah, play hard, um, the deliver hits, and uh, yeah, um, like um, hate to lose, so uh, bring everything to the game to win, and uh, yeah. Read read a lot of stuff about your shot that you have a very hard shot. Can you talk about that? And is that something you've always had, or did you have to work at? It? Uh, I don't know. I like, uh, I've worked with my shot. Um, uh, like I've shot mo much, but like, I think, uh, I always have like a hard shot, but, um, you know, that's like something I work with and, and still do. So, um, uh, and, um, and I think it's one of the, one of my greatest tools so uh, yeah your father's been a coach for a long time have you spent a lot a lot of time around professional teams uh sorry what was what was the question because since your father is a coach have you spent a lot of time around professional teams like the teams he was coaching uh like uh, in Hulefteo, uh, i've been around that team um uh, Walked in the locker room when I was younger, and uh, so I've been around um, like uh, the men's there a, a long time, uh, but uh, nothing in uh, when it was in uh, Lean Shopping and now in Rappersville. I haven't have anything there. Your father played in the NHL. Has he told you much about what the league is like? uh like uh, it's, like it's hard like you you have to work for everything uh, and uh, yeah like you don't get anything easily uh, you have to work for it so uh, there's a few things you said what was your last season like uh at it, it looked like you played for, for, at the junior level and then you moved up to the Swedish league. Was the junior season 
canceled because of COVID after a while, or did you just get promoted? Yeah, it was canceled. Um, I was like yeah, going up and down uh, the, in the junior league and the SHL. But uh, like when they uh, canceled the, the junior league, I was in the SHL team for um, right before the playoffs. They signed a couple of players. Uh, so uh, I didn't, uh, like I wasn't in the lineup. So to get some ice time, it was a good option for me to go to Pito uh, to get some ice time there. And uh, yeah, I had a great time there. What was the SHL like? Uh, I mean, that's that's a man's league. You had to be playing with guys 5, 10, 12 years older. Yeah. Uh, uh, like there was uh, – took a couple of games to get used to, like, uh, used to, uh, like, uh, how quick everything happened and uh, uh, how strong they were. Uh, but uh, I think maybe like 15 games in, I get yeah, it felt better for me when I could maybe like uh, do something with the puck instead of just throw it away or yeah and um, um, yeah I, yeah like I said it took a couple of games and then I feel, I feel more comfortable uh, yeah. So what are your plans for this year? Uh, do you do you plan on going back and? Playing in Sweden, or would you like to eventually uh, get back, get over here to North America and play, or, or is it too too early to decide that yet? Uh, like my plan is to stay in Kleftu, and uh, I have a, a contract uh, there for for uh, like two years, two two more years. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, my plan is to stay in Kleftu. Do you know, or have you? Uh, I'm sure you've heard of some of the Swedes with the Blues, Oscar Sundquist, uh, Carl Gunnarsson, who just uh, retired. Yeah, yeah, I've heard heard of them. Like uh, Sundquist is from Kolefte too, so uh, uh, it's cool. And uh, do you know of Leo Luffy? He, he's a draft pick, uh, but he's still. Uh, I think he's still playing uh, overseas. Yeah, yeah, we. Uh, he's actually. Uh, here in Plymouth too, uh, I think. Yeah. I think he's a little older than you, but have have you played against him? Um, Leo Love or what? Well, uh, yes, Leo. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I have. Everybody good? I'm going to let Simon go here. 